Hey everybody, um, we're gonna do uh, a demonstration for how Summon works. So we, what we've got is this really small garage. It's really hard to get the Model 3 into there. So we're gonna come to the mobile app here and I'm gonna select Summon. Now, as you can see on the app, Summon has a couple choices. Smart Summon, I have a whole nother video that shows that, forward and reverse. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have the car pull itself in just by hitting forward. So we're gonna hit forward. And then we're gonna let the car drive itself in to the garage. And I'm gonna walk around and make sure it doesn't hit anything. If it's getting close to hitting, uh, it'll stop. And there it goes, it's pulling in. It's auto uh, parking itself, basically. It even makes little adjustments when it gets in there. You can see the tires moving a little. Um, and then when I get to where I want it, I just let go and it stops. And now it's in the garage. Now, if like maybe I can't get the door open, someone parked too close to me, I could do reverse summon. So I'll just hold down reverse and I'll let it back itself out of the driveway or out of the garage. What's cool about it, I don't know if you notice this or not, but when you engage Summon, I'll go ahead and stop it. When you engage Summon, it retracts the, these automatically. These are retracted automatically. So if I go to open the door, they open back up. So it knows, it's smart. It knows to close those um, when, you're, when you're summoning the car. So anyway, that's how Summon works. You can drive it forward, you can drive it backwards. It works in garages, it works in parking lots. Uh, it's a pretty handy feature. I have a whole other video on Smart Summon. I'll put a link, and then you can watch us do a Smart Summon at night where we Smart Summon it to pick us up right where we are at the curb. Anyway, that's the video, and thanks for watching.